Hey, Josh here from Absolute. Welcome back to Cybersecurity Insights. Today, we're gonna to explore a hot topic in our industry, zero trust. Imagine walking through an airport and having to validate your trustworthiness with every stride. That is zero trust. But trust has to be earned, verified, and that's where things get tricky. For decades, we put networks, devices, data, apps, and users into a trust relationship, but without much verification. In 2010, John Kinderlog introduced a concept of zero trust, which has become a touchstone for cyber resilience and persistent security. You know the mantra, trust is a vulnerability? Well, it comes with three benefits, improved intelligence, faster containment, and better performance. First, Zero Trust gives IT and security teams the intelligence they need by monitoring how access is granted or denied in every pocket of the environment. With more security checkpoints, brings more validation events. When you have more validation events, you get better models for how security controls are working. Second, faster containment. Zero Trust is often bundled with an architectural shift toward segmentation. With partitions, containment is easier and faster because we're able to trap threats within an individual segment and foreclose its opportunity to advance. And three, better performance. With fewer hosts and endpoints per segment, system traffic is more easily modulated from one segment to the next. By segmenting, we use fewer resources, and those resources are less likely to become overwhelmed, giving us better performance. The foundation of zero trust begins with asset intelligence. Without knowledge of data, devices, users, and apps, there's no way to know what needs verifying. If persistent security is the goal, and for most it is, then zero trust is one of the most effective ways to get there, because trust is a vulnerability. Get rid of it and enjoy cyber resilience. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Oh, and keep your comments below. Can't wait to continue the conversation with you. I'll see you next time.